guys, it's Ali here. So, um, I have re recently decided not to continue with the to-do list because I just don't like it as much as I did at first. At first I thought it was a great idea, but now I'm kind of like, eh. So, um, I want to do a ballet theme series, and for that I needed a ballet bar. So me and my brother whipped this up last night. Therefore, you can do it too, because he's my younger brother, and we just did this on our own almost. My dad just kind of supervised. We made a ballet bar. But before I show you the ballet bar, um, I just want to ask if anybody has, like, an American Girl doll table set or something, you know, preferably historical, but whatever you have, like a table and chairs, um, feel free to contact me about it, because I'd like to buy one, and I think I might have found one on, uh, AG Playthings, but... I don't know, the person hasn't contacted me back and stuff, so I'm just looking around. So if you have a table set you'd like to sell, um, let me know and I will see. And and Or even trade or something, because I might trade away some of my doll clothes. I haven't decided yet. Just clearing out to get new things, I guess. But now for the ballet bar. So um, as you can see, the dolls are wearing mostly ballet stuff, except I lost the ballet shoe. And I'm so sad, but I might buy one back from my neighbor for like 25 cents. I don't know. Or... From Cassie or something but um so yeah let me show you the bar oh this will probably this is one of the ballet studios I'm gonna have more than one this is like the big window one um so let me show you the bar Asia can move out of the way so all it is is a dowling tube which is the round thing oh, there we go right here and I found all this stuff in my garage too so this basically was free and I just kind of decided to make it yesterday and then I just kind of did so all it is is a dowling tube and then these pieces of wood were pre-cut like this, except me and my brother cut it very crookedly down here, so it's kind of leany, but whatever. Um, so yeah, all we did was we took a staple gun and stapled, well we cut the pieces of wood first, it's 11 inches long. And then we took the dowling tube, I didn't even cut this because I wanted it to be as long as possible. And stapled it on on both sides, there's one on the other side as well. And then I cut smaller pieces that are two and a half inches long and just attached it to the bottom. So that way it could stand up on its own, and like it, it does stand up. It just looks like it's leaning against the wall right now, but yeah. And um, so I stapled it on, and then I painted it blue with some paint I found in my basement. And voila, this took about 20 minutes to make, probably. Very simple craft if you want a ballet bar. Ask your dad to help you build one or something. Because you don't even need any power tools. Like, you could just use a screwdriver and a hand saw. But um, it's movable, as you can see. You can move it around. Put it there, you can, here, let's see. Jess is wearing the most ballet stuff right now. Uh, you can just stand your doll at the bar. Whoa, Jess, do not fall backwards. Um, yeah, so it's going to be lovely. I'm going to be doing the ballet series, hopefully, because I, as you all know, I've been doing ballet since I was three. So, yeah, um, she's in a really not good position whatsoever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I like the little bar, it's cute. I could make another one really simple and easy, so um, I just wanted to show you where I got that. Okay.